Welcome to Orange and Back Check's Chalk Talk series, where we simplify the technical side of hockey. This week's lesson is Offensive Zone 101. Now, while we all know the object of hockey is to score goals, there's a lot that happens prior to the shot being put on net. And just like the gym, hardest part's getting there. So to show you how, we're gonna focus on two areas this week, zone entry and forechecking. Before you can do that, you have to understand something else. As you know, there are five positions in hockey. Left wing, center, right wing, left defense, and right defense. But to fully understand how offense works, you need to forget about that and focus on three things, F1, F2, and F3, because any of the five positions can be in F1, F2, and F3. So, let's talk first about zone entry. So what exactly is a zone entry? Well, it's pretty much how it sounds. A zone entry is when the team has control of the puck and enters the offensive zone. The F1 is the first person who enters the zone with the puck. F2 is the second player who enters the zone and does not have the puck. And the third person to enter the zone is the F3, also known as the trailer, who's usually the most dangerous person in the play. We'll get to that shortly. The basis for this zone entry is simple. F1 is heading for the left post and will either look to shoot or pass. F2 is heading for the right post and will look to either receive a pass from F1 or be in position for a rebound if a shot is taken. When F1 enters the zone, what he usually does with the puck is usually dependent on the defense. If he's one-on-one -on -one with a defender, he can shoot or have F2 go for the rebound, or if they can pass it to F2 for a better shot opportunity, that normally happens. If, however, things change if there's two defenders in front of you. If the F2 is also one-on-one -on -one with a defender and there's no pass available, the F1 can either shoot or pass to the F3, who's the third person behind the F1 and F2. So while there are different types of zone entries, you're generally going to see this. F1's always gonna be the first person in with the puck, F2 is gonna be opposite them, and then F3 is going to be the person trailing the play. Usually it looks like a giant triangle. So that leads us into forechecking. Well, what exactly is forechecking? Well, let's be honest, you've probably used the term before but have no idea what it means, and that's okay. Well, to keep it simple, Forechecking is defined as pressure the forwards place on an opposing defense to gain control of the puck. It's the same basic principle as a zone entry. You have your F1, F2, and F3, but the forecheck begins without the puck. F1 will attack the puck carrier to force a turnover, while F2 does the same to pick up a loose puck right behind F1. This is called a stack. Sometimes, if there's a second defender behind the net, the F2 will take on that second defender to prevent the D-to-D pass. This is called a spread. Either way, F3 follows the play as the trailer and becomes a passing option for either F1 or F2, sliding to the strong side where the puck is at. But while these diagrams can give you a basic idea, let's take a look at a four-check in action. When the Flyers played against the Hurricanes, it was the four-check that led to the game-winning goal. Travis Konechny started the forecheck as the F1 as he pressured the defenseman into a turnover behind the net. Morgan Frost joined the forecheck as the F2 and took the loose puck and looked for the passing option. Claude Giroux was joining the forecheck as the F3 in the play and was in position to receive the pass and beat Preto Morozik for the game winner. That goal was created because of an effective stack forecheck. While we could go into other options between stack and spread, this is just to give you the basic idea of how they work. So now that you've seen a forecheck in action, you should be able to pick it up during the game. Next time you watch, see if you can identify the F1, F2, and F3. We'll give you a lot more insight on how the plays in hockey work. Thanks for watching Chalk Talk. We'll see you next time.